newbie, young entrepreneur. Um, I spent five years down south in Toronto training. I attended York University. Um, I've recently moved back to Sudbury in June um, with my arts initiative. Um, like right now, currently, we've launched a studio here in February that's on Cedar Street across from the Market Square, trying to really um, increase people's awareness and uh, accessibility through downtown, because it is still very much a ghost land um, after the Monday to Friday working. Um, so I thought I'd give you a little bit of information about me, about the studio, about what my vision is for the arts community here in Sudbury, and then there's a little bit of an interactive task for your groups at your tables. So, I'm 23 uh, years old, so a lot of the time I get the, are you crazy, what are you doing trying to open up an art studio in Sudbury? And my response is usually, it is the best location to start a studio like this. Toronto is a saturated market, other big cities are saturated, Sudbury is in need, in dire need, of centers like Arts North. We are an interdisciplinary hub, so we don't just offer one thing. We house all our disciplines under one roof. So we offer dance classes for young youth and adults. I have clients as young as three and as old as 82. So if that's not inspiring enough, I don't know what is. <laughs> uh, we offer musical theater classes, visual art classes, group fitness classes, so we're really trying to um, mend the arts as one, as it should be. It doesn't need to be separate entities, and, and a lot of the times that's sort of what we see. We see a lot of dance studios in this community. We don't see a lot of uh, collaboration, which leads me to my next idea. Um, we very much work as an individualist society, um, and we're, we're wrong with that, I think, in my opinion. We're stronger as a united front, like we are here today, gathering, discussing ideas about how we can improve Sudbury. Um, my idea with Arts North is to create a hub for Northern Ontario, Sudbury being the largest city, um, where different artists from all backgrounds can come and collaborate in, um, create performance works, and make art more accessible for community members. So putting work in venues that are uncommon, not necessarily a stage. Um, Things like festivals that we have here in the summer lack a lot of the performance artwork. And we have many talented artists here in Northern Ontario. And actually, just for your knowledge, while I was in Toronto, I would say that probably at least 40% of the artists that I worked with professionally were from Northern Ontario communities. Uh, whether that be Sudbury, North Bay, Sault Ste. Marie, Timmins, and so on and so on. There's the problem. 40% in Toronto that have left Northern Ontario that don't come back. We really need to address our arts community because art is what brings people together. And this, I say, in the response to are you crazy for opening up an art studio, <laughs> is this is exactly what we need. Statistically, in times of depression or recession, people turn to arts. Arts is a medium of expression. We don't always know how to vocalize you know, our ideas or feelings or emotions, but we can paint it on a canvas or we can move it through our body. So there are all these sort of vessels to get to where we need to be. So creating viable jobs for artists in the North is at the top of my priority list. Um, I've done some recruiting throughout the summer while I've been here and I've managed to have uh, six artists come on board at the faculty at Arts North alone. Keep in mind we've just started in February. So the artists are just stumbling in from all different places, all different walks of life um, to Arts North and, and wanting to be a part of it in some way. And that's, that's very special because they haven't felt like there's been an outlet for them up until this point. There are community theater um, projects and, and such, but um, not everyone is interested in that, uh, so this is the alternative as well. The other um, thing on my agenda with Arts North is professional training. Right now it doesn't exist, until now. 
it didn't exist. Um, we at Arts North will be able to provide pre-professional training for artists who can't go out of town uh, to Toronto or another city to get training, but want to pursue a career in the arts. So what often happens is, art is something I do at night on the side, and I'm a waitress during the day, or I'm a whatever during the day. You don't hear a lot of the time people standing proud, tall, saying, I am an artist, that is what I do. That is my career. When we should be able to say that. So we're, I think that we will start to see a shift um, with that, especially that's what I, you know, and, and really trying to get out there and talking to my faculty as well as when people ask you what you are. Remember that you're an artist first. That is what you're passionate about, that is what you want to do. Unfortunately, you know, to make your bread and butter, a lot of the times you have to work another job. So this is uh, a priority on my initiative list as well. The other concept comes back to keeping artists in the North, keeping youth in the North. What's been happening, uh, we were discussing at, at my table earlier as well, you know, there were periods of time where all of, all of like my, my age generation now would have left and not return because they didn't feel like there was work here for them. Um, this, especially in a time like now, um, I, I feel like a lot of people will be, you know, sort of back into that mindset where there's nothing here for them. Well, we need to really start pushing the fact that no one's going to hand you a job. You can create. So as well as with Arts North, the training that goes to artists, we can also start to train creative minds. And creative minds are crucial in any industry. You need to be able to, um, you know, mold ideas, change ideas quickly. You need those creative mindsets as an asset within any business. So that's something that uh, I'm looking at as well in ways to incorporate, um, you know, business training with artistic uh, expressions. Not everyone can stand up at a podium and, and speak. Um, and that's sort of a, a technique that can be developed. And art, a lot of the time, gets that person to that point where their self-confidence is you know, at its maximum. And they feel that they're able to really express themselves. So that's also something I'm looking at incorporating through Arts North as well. My vision um, for Sudbury is massive. And sometimes I, I need to just scale myself down right now because I realize that it's, you know, you gotta walk. Well, you gotta crawl before you walk and then you run. And my father tells me this all the time because I always have these great big ideas that are massive and I need to sort of compartmentalize. Compart 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 <laughs> that. Um, and the idea is that Sudbury could be and should be the metropolitan city of the north. We are diversifying mm -hmm. in culture. We see a growth in schools. College Boreal, Cambrian College, Rouen Engine University, they're expanding. We need to have outlets for these students because these students can be the next generation of entrepreneurs in our community. These are educated people. These are young people, fresh new blood, ideas. We really need to hone on to that and provide outlets for these students so that we could capture them here and show them all the great things that we have in Sudbury, the, the natural beauty that you can't get in lots of other cities. So I think it's really important that we connect as community members and as Sudburyans with these new students coming in because they are going to be the generation to tap into to really take Sudbury to the next level. Now, I want you just in your groups <coughs> to talk to one another quickly and come up with one local initiative that you think can help Sudbury. One local initiative. Local meaning within Sudbury itself. <coughs> one 